Hi tech enthusiasts, welcome back to Fast Cabling. Today in this video, we are diving into the world of PDZ cameras. That's pan, till, and zoom cameras. Now whether you're setting up security, event coverage, or just want dynamic video capabilities, understanding PDZ cameras will elevate your tech game. So stay tuned for expert tips and tricks to ensure a seamless setup and maximize the potential of your security system. So PDZ cameras are the Swiss army knives of the camera world. They pan, move left and right, till, move up and down, and zoom in and out, allowing for comprehensive coverage of large areas from a fixed point. And today we're not just talking about what they can do, but how to set them up efficiently and the consideration that you should make. Now, with features like remote access and directional control and zoom, automated patrol setting and high resolution capability, PDZ cameras are a top choice for professional environment. And the power over Ethernet technology allows your PDZ cameras to transmit both power and data through a single network cable. And this can simplify the installation by eliminating the need for additional power supplies and wiring. So you just plug one cable into your PDZ camera and you're good to go. Now let's talk power. PDZ cameras, especially those with high-end features like heaters and advanced sensors, might need more juice. Now, with the inclusion of a heater, PDZ cameras can be deployed in a wider range of environment. And this is particularly useful for outdoor installation in areas with harsh winters or in locations like cold storage facilities where temperatures are kept low. And when selecting a PDZ camera with a heater or advanced feature, Feature, it is essential to consider the additional power requirement and ensure that your power supply is set up right. Different PoE standards cater to varying power demand. We have IEEE A02.3 AF, AT, and BT standard. While the AT standard of PoE can supply up to 30 watts, which is suffice for most common PDZ cameras. More advanced models might require 40 watts or even more provided by the BT standard. So here's where understanding your camera's power needs becomes crucial and select the right PoE switch. So as you can see, our PDZ cameras are powered by our WebSmart PoE switch through a single Ethernet cable. Now this WebSmart PoE switch supports IEEE A02.3 AT standard, which can supply up to 30 watts of power to our PDZ camera. So through a single Ethernet cable, we can get live video feed. Now, setting up your PDZ camera seems like straightforward. But what about when you need coverage over a longer distances? Let's say beyond 100 meters. Now, here I have a big row of 300 meters Ethernet cable. So I'm going to try to use this to connect to one of our PDZ camera to see if it works. Here I'm going to unplug one of our PDZ camera and plug in our 300 meters Ethernet cable to the switch. This is quite heavy and I already unplugged the PDZ camera. Let's plug in our 300 meters Ethernet cable. Hmm. It seems like it might be getting the power, but what about data? Now, looking at our monitor here, only one of our PDZ camera is working. The other one, obviously, disconnected. So over such distances, power loss can occur with the standard PoE solution. And that's where our long-range 
PoE switch here shines. Now this switch can support the BT standard by using all four twisted pairs of the wires in an Ethernet cable to deliver power efficiently over a longer range. And not only does it ensure that your PDZ cameras get enough power, it also ensures stable data transmission over extended distances. So now let's connect our PDZ cameras using this long range PoE switch. So first I'm going to replace the Westmart PoE switch using our long range PoE switch. So let's unplug all the Ethernet cable, say goodbye, and replace our switch here. Now this long range PoE switch has four ports, but keep in mind only port number one and two support long range technology. Let's plug in the short patch cord for our NVR. And going to plug in one of our PDZ camera using this Ethernet cable. And don't forget our 300 meters Ethernet cable plug into port number one here. So everything is ready, You're coming over to this side. Even though we plug in the long range PoE switch for the PDZ camera, but since our PDZ camera is just an ordinary camera, so we could not send back the signal to our long range PoE switch. That's why we'll need to add this adapter here. And each long range PoE switch come with two PoE adapter. I'm going to open it up. This is IP67 waterproof rated. I open up the neck and the gland for easy installation, but when you do it, make sure you use a wrench to fasten them up tightly. Now here we have the input port. Plug in the 300 meters ethernet cable to the input port. And then I'm going to plug in the output port using a short patch cord. And it has a special mounting tool, allows you to mount it on a DIN wheel so you can install it flexibly and as close as you can with our PDZ camera. Plug it in for the PDZ camera. Now we can hear the sound of our PDZ camera moving. Seems like it's getting the power, what about the data? Here I have live video on both camera. One is facing our board and the other one is working. Now before you connect to your PDZ camera, make sure your PoE switch has the right power budget and sufficient port. So you can check your specification carefully. Next I'm going to show you how to pan, till and zoom our PDZ camera using this control keyboard. Let's see, it is already powered up and I'm going to plug in the short patch cord to our switch to connect to the PDZ camera. Now, we have saved. Just look for your PDZ camera's IP address, connect it. Let's enlarge the picture. Now I'm going to move the camera by moving this joystick. We can go left by moving it left, right, up, and also down. We can zoom out by moving it to the left and zoom in by twisting our joystick to the right. Now let's zoom all the way into our fig tree here. And within a second, you can see the detail of the leaves. You can also see the texture. Now when you want to zoom out, just twist it to all the way to the left. So this is how you remote direction your PDZ camera. So there you have it, your ultimate guide to setting up PDZ cameras with the right PoE setup. Now whether it's for security, monitoring, or capturing 
stunning visuals, the right setup can make a world of differences. Now, if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and also share it with your friends. And you can feel free to drop your questions or comment in the comment section below because we love hearing from you. Now, thank you very much for joining us and I'll see you in the next video.